Want to know how to order food in Chinese using your cell phone and an app called Meituan? But you don't know how to read Chinese? Well, this is part two of the Meituan series and I'm going to teach you the food-related vocabulary in the app. That way you can use it better. I made a PDF with all the vocabulary in this video and extra sentences. That way you can improve your Mandarin as you use Meituan on the go. Head to elementarychinese.com slash Meituan to download it there. This is the screen that I see when I first open up Meituan. Second icon from the left, Fu Jing. We're going to Xiang, which is part of Xiang Shou, which means to enjoy, Mei Shi, and that's beautiful food. That just means good food, enjoy good food. And again, at the top, starting from the left, that button that is red, we see Re Man, and that means popular. So popular things are under there. If I go one to the right, Xiao Chi Kuai Tan. So snacks and fast food. One more to the right, and Mian Bao Tian Dian. Mian Bao is bread. Tian Dian is desserts. I'm gonna go here a lot. Han Guo Liao Li is Korean food. Chuan Cai is Sichuan food. If you go to elementarychinese.com slash food, my food course, I do talk about ordering food because if we're going to eat and we go usually to the same places, well, I want to equip you with some language scripts so you can learn how to learn at the places you go. That way you can level up your day-to-day -day Chinese. And what is this? Xiang is the abbreviation for Hunan food. Instead of saying Hu Cai for Hunan, they say Xiang Cai because in Chinese history, you know, Certain regions had different names, and so now those other names persist, even though the region's name has changed. Moving right along is Dongbei Cai. Dongbei. I like Dongbei. That's northeast kind of food. It's pretty savory, in my opinion. Ziban Liao Li. Well, Japanese food. So if you're not sure what you ordered or you want to go and check on your order, press Ding Dan at the bottom. Fourth from the right icon, it looks like a little clipboard. Ding dan is an order, okay? Ding tan means to order food. Like when you're calling the restaurant on a phone and you want to order food, you can say wo yao ding tan. It's like if you were in the restaurant, you said dian tan, except for dian tan is like order in a restaurant, and ding tan is something you use more on the phone. Dan zi is a list, so then ding dan is a list of the food that you've ordered. Yo xiao means valid. Yo xiao qi is the period that something is valid, and zhi means till a time. For example, one o'clock to two o'clock would be yi dian, zhi liang dian. By the way, you don't say zhi. It's only in written form. If you want to say one o'clock to two o'clock, you don't say yi dian, zhi liang dian. You say yi dian, da liang dian. Zong jia means the total. Jia ge means the price. So zong jia is the total price. And then you can check your order. If you want a refund for whatever reason, that's that orange button. And just below the orange box where it says request a refund, there's green characters and that says wei xiao fei. It means you haven't purchased it yet. So at the top of the screen where it says 49 kuai, press there and then go and press the orange button which says li ji qiang go buy immediately press that orange button to make your purchase verify that the stuff you're going to purchase is correct and then at the bottom where it says ti jiao ding dan that submit your order press that orange button and this screen is where you choose your method of payment it selects mei tuan by default you can also choose WeChat, but I'm not going to use that, of course. If I press those gray characters down below, it says look up more methods of payment, and I do have Jirfuba, which is Alipay, so I'm going to choose that one, and then press the orange button, which says confirm payment. So I'm not going to confirm the payment because that will bring up my Alipay, and I don't want to buy it just yet. I know we just rushed through those final payment steps, but don't worry because in the third part of this Meituan series, I'm going to break down the language you need for navigating around Meituan. If you want that language now in the PDF I created so you can learn with your tutor or just take it with you on the go as you learn by yourself, head over to my website elementarychinese.com slash Meituan and download it. Question of the day. What's your favorite food to eat here in China? Leave a comment and tell me because I'm making videos for you in the future and I want to make sure that they're about things that you like. Also, like this video if it was good for you. If you want more Chinese tips from me, follow this channel right there. This is Kuejo, elementarychinese.com. Good, good study.
day, day up.